What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix uh, Windows performance issues. Uh, before we get started here, I want to let you guys know that the link to the website that we will be using in the video will be in the video description. Okay, anyway. Um, basically this video is for anyone who's having, you know, slow performance on their laptop or desktop using Windows. You know, your computer might be sluggish, programs might be running slow or l taking too long to load up and such like that. Well, uh, I've made this video to help you guys. So what we're going to uh, do is go ahead and go to the website that will be helping you. Uh, notice this is on the Microsoft website. A lot of resources uh, are out there both on your PC and the Microsoft website if you're using Windows and these resources are here to help you with any uh, issue that you might be experiencing with your PC and the great thing about these resources are they're free they're completely 100 percent free so before you uh, you know consider going to a professional who might charge you a lot you might want to go ahead and check out the resources that your computer comes with or check out the website first and if all fails then I would definitely contact a professional to help you with the issues that are occurring with your PC okay anyway uh, once you've gone to the website which again will be in the video description you uh, will come across a box that is on the page that is called fix it and basically there is a uh, large green link in the middle of the box that is named run now so to get started here you're gonna go ahead and click on run now depending on uh, what your what browser you're using Firefox Windows or any other th thing um, you're gonna get a prompt that says run or save uh, Base, uh, on the side or top or whatever but anyway basically saving is if you want to save this scanner on your computer for future use uh, if you don't if you do not want to log on to your web browser and go to the site and running is you can just run it right out of the browser it doesn't uh, permanently download on a computer or anything like that so for the video's sake, we're going to go ahead and click on run. Once it does a quick uh, security scan, it, we will get started here. And you will be prompted to accept the Microsoft license agreement. And you don't really have to click on the link to read the agreement. If you want to, you can. Great. But anyway, you're going to go ahead and click on accept. Once you click on accept, it will do a quick install. This install is again not permanent because you clicked on run instead of save. Um, anyway, once you've done that, you will be prompted to either uh, to click on two options. One of one of the two options is called uh, detect problems and apply the fixes for me recommended, and the other is detect problems and let me select the fixes to apply. Okay. Um, the reason you get are these two options is the first one is again called detect problems and apply the fixes for me this is for anyone who is not very familiar with their uh, computer or anything like that this is for someone who is fairly new at learning how to work their computer or anything like that and the other one which is detect problems and let me select the fixes to apply this is basically for people who've been around computers before in the past this might be for uh, people who have intimate knowledge of PC but anyway for the video's sake you want to go ahead and click on detect problems and apply the fixes for me recommended so you're going to go ahead and click on once you uh, do that it will do a scan of your system and and uh, see what's going on with it uh, okay basically after the scan depending on if you have an issue or not um, 
it will tell you uh, in the box it will tell you your issue in this case uh, a lot of people might get this issue which is uh, it's not really an issue but it can cause issues okay uh, it will say your computer is set to automatically run programs that may delay startup and basically this is saying that uh, when your computer start up starts up it automatically starts programs and in the long run this this isn't a big problem but it also isn't that great to have and it is telling you uh, that when these programs start up they can slow your computer down in the long run or it might take a while to start up your computer uh, or get to that point where you can you know use your computer anyway uh, to fix this issue you uh, can click on the start system configuration and once you do that the MS config box will come up and start up and basically in this box uh, uh, you would get a list of all the programs on your computer that runs when you start up and you you want to make sure you do read these uh, programs because you might disable something that you that needs to be enabled uh, when you start up. So you can disable uh, miscellaneous programs like messenger programs, any other games, stuff like that. But you definitely want to keep up, uh, you know, your Java. You want to keep up your any other drivers and such like that now this uh... some people if if you've already done ms config in the past you might not have that issue you might have something else or if you don't really have a problem it will tell you you do not have an issue um, i was just doing an example for that but if you come across a, an issue that isn't that it is pretty much self-explanatory on how to fix it. It will do it for you. You just all you really need to do is click on you know the next buttons, and it will apply the uh, the uh, fixes for you. You don't need to get all technical with the program or anything. So uh, um, yeah, once you've clicked that, once you've fixed the issue or whatever you're gonna go ahead and click on next once you get to next it will scan rescan the system again and it will give you the status of your uh, issue or issues that were uh, scanned and such like that for the video I uh, I just decided not to do anything with that issue I had but it will tell you under uh, fixed status in the box it will tell you whether you fix a problem or not in this case I didn't fix the problem so it will stay at detected and if you if it's at that you you're gonna uh, you wanna make sure you go ahead and run re uh, scan your system again using this uh, program to see if you can work out any kinks and fix these issues that have been detected and you go ahead and click next and once you've clicked next you are taken to the final stage which is basically a survey uh, I don't bother with these things but you guys can and you just put in your little opinion blah 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 and you exit once you exit the program and that is it you're done with that and that is how you fix windows performance issues